Hello everyone! In this lesson, we'll be looking at the Edit Fades and Timing feature found in both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer. This is a great tool to use when you want to trim silence from an audio track, or if you only want to hear a specific portion of the track in your show. Let's take a look at how this feature works. In my sample show, I've added a song, but I only want to use a small part of it as an intro. So let's edit this down into a much smaller clip. To access the Edit Fades and Timing feature, double-click on the soundtrack bar to access all of the soundtrack options. You'll find the Edit Fades and Timing option in the Track Settings pane. Now, click the Edit Fades and Timing button to open the Audio Trimmer. The first thing you'll notice in the Audio Trimmer window is the Waveform Preview that takes up most of the window. Here, you'll see two waveforms that represent the left and right channels of your stereo audio track. When making changes, edits are applied to both channels at the same time. Just above the waveform, you'll see the start and end times for your audio track. These will update automatically as you make your editing selections. Beneath the waveform are some of the tools needed to choose which part of the audio you want to use. On the left, you have the zoom slider. You can use this to get a closer look at the sound file. As you move the slider to the right, in the waveform you'll begin to see smaller and smaller increments of time, down to the tenth of a second. This comes in handy when you need to find just the right spot for your edits. The size of the time increments is displayed just below the waveform. Look at the show label to see how much time is visible. In this case, I've zoomed in so closely that each of these lines is one-tenth of a second. When looking at a zoomed-in view of the waveform, in order to find just the right place to make your edits, you'll use the position slider to move back and forth between the start and end points for your track. Beneath the zoom slider, you'll find details about your song, including source information and the duration of the track. Beneath the position slider, you'll see the start and end times for your song, as well as the lengths of any fade in or fade out applied to your track. Now, to trim this track down to the desired length, let's first move the zoom slider all the way back to the original position, and focus on the waveform preview. For this particular example, I know that I want to only use a piece of the song that appears in the very beginning of the track. So in the Waveform Preview, I'm going to click somewhere near the beginning of the track. Notice the marker that appears where I just clicked. This marker can now be set as either my starting or ending point by using these icons below the waveform. Since I know what I want to hear is at the very beginning of the track, I'm going to click on the Set Ending Time icon. The End Playback Indicator will now appear at the point where the marker was located. I can now preview my edit by clicking the play icon. If I didn't quite get the right part of my song the first time, I can easily adjust the start or end times by hovering over these indicators. Notice how the cursor changes. From here, I can click and drag to change the start or end points for my trimmed down clip. In this case, I happen to know that I only need the first 24 seconds of my song to create the perfect clip. So in order to make my edit more precise, I'm going to go into the end value box and type in 24. To make sure my edit blends well into the next song in my soundtrack, I'm going to go ahead and also apply a fade out. I can do that by either moving the fade flags, or by typing in a specific value in the fade value boxes. With my edit configured, I'll press OK to close the audio trimmer and apply the trim to the song. Remember, when you use the Edit Fades and Timing feature, you're simply telling ProShow what part of the song you want to use. Any edits you make are non-destructive, meaning your original audio files will not be changed in any way. Now if we close the Soundtrack Options window and return to the workspace, down in the slide list, you'll see that the track only appears during the first three slides. From here, I can continue adding more music to my show and then editing as needed. And that just about wraps up our lesson on editing music in ProShow. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel. Or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.